Uh, my name's Ian Rowlands. I am Research Information Specialist at the at King's College London and I work in the Research Management and Innovation Directorate. For me, Scopus is the index to the minutes of science. Uh, if you think about it, we're looking at literally millions of papers. And there are untold stories there which we are trying to get to the bottom of. We've been working recently with the International Partnerships Division. And one of the key things that we're interested in, because King's College has got lots of international formal partnerships with Arizona State University, University of New South Wales. What we don't know necessarily at the top level is how successful some of those partnerships have been. So one of the things we're working on at the moment is just simply getting some tracking to, so we can see we can monitor publications, joint publications between us and our various international partners. There are some great analytical features within, uh, within Scopus, but what makes it really powerful is that you've got all that really in-depth indexing. You know, which is reflected in the structure of the, of the downloadable records. So I can take records from um, a scope of search and then take it into another environment um, where we clean, do a little bit of data cleaning, but we can then chop up and we can see precisely which authors have been interacting with which institutions. I previously worked at the University of Leicester and we showed that the contribution of Early career, PH, early career researchers and PhDs is enormous. And it's one of those, it's a Cinderella thing that people just don't realise. We've got the data, but it's a question of, in fact, in many ways, I see my role as being to act as a broker to get people to articulate the kinds of questions which we can use Scopus, Pure, and Scival to answer. They're the, minute, they're the minutes of science. Well, at King's College London, we're using Scival quite extensively. Uh, it's probably best if I exemplify this with a, a specific example. Um, at King's, we have something called a high-performance culture. So we're thinking more and more about um, how we exploit our position in the world rankings. I mean, King's is top six in the UK. You know, we're, we're powering up there. We've moved tremendously in the last five years. and. So as an example, I've been working on a benchmarking study with the fa Faculty of Nursing. And so we're looking at a whole range of data, not just from um, pure Scopus and Scival, but Scival has been a very important component because one of the things we're able to do <clears throat> is to create a, a cohort of the, the most elite group of nursing researchers across the world. In fact, what we're doing is looking at the authors in the very best uh, nursing schools internationally. And we're using that to set a sort of series of um, aspirational benchmarks. Now for me, what's really interesting about Science School is the fact that you're using a longer time window than the classic journal impact factor. And one of the implications there is that should mean that some subject areas that are perhaps more slow moving uh, in their citation rates will be uh, seen in a more positive light. And certainly some of the interactions we've, I've had with academics at King's College London, they've been very interested in not just science school, but a lot of these new metrics uh, that are coming along, like the, um, like the Scopus views. They're really starting to get engaged with this.